Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So, the bond update just came out today, and you can now buy bonds off the uh, Jagex store for in real life cash, and you can also buy them in game, and they are tradable. And at the moment, I've heard that they are about 8 mil at the moment, selling for about that much in the GE. So, I'm going to buy one and just see what it's like. So, there's three things that you can do with bonds you can either exchange them for 14 days of membership. Or you can exchange them for six squeal spins or a amount of rune coins, 160 rune coins, eight squeal spins or 14 days of membership. So I think this is a very good update. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of videos made on the negatives of this update. So I figured I would make one on the positives of this update. First of all, unfortunately, there are people who out there who are very rich in real life and are going to want to use some of that money to get an advantage in game. And there's not a whole lot we can do about that. It's just a person's mentality. And also, you know, some people are just more fortunate than others with their in real life wealth. So I figured this could actually be a good thing. For one, uh, the sad truth with a lot of real world trading sites is a lot of them are scams. A lot of them will hack your account. A lot of them will steal your membership and credit card details and stuff like that. I've heard some pretty bad stories of people basically getting kind of screwed over for, uh, you know, using their credit card details on sites and, you know, eventually losing thousands of dollars. And you can't really do much about that because a lot of the sites are based in China and the way that, uh, you know, China's government work, they don't really punish people for, you know, basically scamming others on the Internet. And there's not really much you can do to get your money back. So, for example, if someone took their parents' credit card and used it, the parents aren't getting their money back and there's not really a whole lot they can do about it so it really hurts not just the child because obviously uh, I think they're going to get punished in a situation like that but it also hurts the parents because they can lose money and of course even if you aren't using your parents credit card and you're using your own money um, there's obviously that chance that you could really end up losing a lot more money than you thought um, possibly not even getting the items that you paid for but anyway um, obviously the bonds they're not as good. You can get more RSGP for your dollar if you buy from a gold farming site. I'm not encouraging anyone to do this or anything. I think it's a terrible idea myself. But um, if you want to play by the rules, you can now you know, spend money on Jagex and earn a fair amount of money in game. You're always able to do this off the squeal of fortune, but you'd have to get really lucky to get a lot of in-game money unless they had one of those really big promotions such as, you know, those gloves that gave you money when they, you did skilling. I can't exactly remember what they were called. But anyway, uh, I think another great deal with this is there are players out there who struggle to, you know, afford membership. So for players out there that are really motivated to get membership, but for whatever reason, say you're really young, you don't have a job, and your parents aren't really willing to, you know, buy membership for you, you can always um, work really hard on, you know, killing bosses and stuff buy these things and then get your membership that way. Of course, you would have to devote a lot of your time in game to PVMing to make money for bonds, but if that's worth it to you, I think this is actually a really good idea for the players like that because I know there are players out there. But anyway, I'm just going to turn this one in for membership because um, it's not like I can't afford membership or anything, but I did buy this for the video and I can't trade it away, so I'm just going to use it on membership because I don't think 8 spins or 160 rune coins are really worth it. I'm not that interested in the cosmetic stuff in the Solomon store, and 8 squeal spins is not really a good deal because it's going to turn out to not really give me anything in the long run anyway. But anyway, I hope you guys just see the positives of this update and that it's really helpful, I think. And 14 days of membership, so now I have to spend, I guess, uh, $3 less or whatever. I believe membership is 6 $8 a month, something like that. I can't quite remember, but thanks for watching this video, guys. You know, I hope that... You guys will see bonds as, I guess, a positive thing. Of course, there are negatives along to it as well because now it's slightly easier for people that are rich in real life to make a lot of money in-game, but that's always going to be the case anyway. So anyway, that's about all for this video. I'll talk to you guys later, and farewell.